causing significant damage and heading right toward the Yukon area. It seems to have slowed down its motion a bit uh, as it uh, has been uh, overtaken and perhaps surrounded by some of that rain cooled air that came from its west, west side and then south side and then now to its east side. OK, right now we're looking at that storm here, I believe, from K4 TV, from their helicopter as it's getting closer, uh, at least in the neighborhood of Oklahoma City. If we can also at, the, at one point here, take a look at video source Max 5 to give some perspective where this storm is right now, because we're getting word from affiliate K4 that a thousand people have been evacuated underground in a tunnel at Will Rogers Airport there. So Dr. Forbes, you can give us some kind of perspective of where the storm is in relation to Oklahoma City here. Yeah, well, the, uh, the airport is off uh, to the uh, west northwest side of Oklahoma City. Uh, out in that area, right near, just to the east of El Reno, right along uh, I-40 there is where the tornado is located, very close to the Yukon area. And so this is going to come into an area uh, with the uncertainties of whether it will move a little bit right. north of West. I'm sorry, Dr. Forbes, to interrupt you, but we have uh, uh, Justin Drake and Simon Brewer on the phone as well. We understand they took a direct hit as well. Oh, my well. goodness. And, guys, uh, how are you guys doing first off? Well, uh, we, we were just used to the tornado. Right now we're going to the western side of uh, Oklahoma City, actually in survival mode. Uh, where we're just used to the tornado. It was incredibly violent, probably the most violent tornado we've ever seen, at least EF5 strength. Um, and then a satellite vortice, a satellite vortex, another tornado developed on the rear, on the on the gust front in front of the tornado, destroyed a structure just south of us, hit us, almost flipped our car over on the interstate. It did some sort of damage to our car. Our car's limping along right now. Um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if it hit other chasers that were around us. But uh, but Simon, you and uh, Justin and, and everyone there, you're okay. Is that correct? Yes, we're okay. We're just fine. Uh, it got super intense there as we started to get hit by that satellite vortice. I had the window rolled down trying to get video of the client behind us, and that building just exploded. You could see all the rain that tried to rush into the car. I mean, it, it was just a, a very intense thing that happened right there at that moment. But we are okay. All right, that's, that's very good news. That's good news, uh, and your vehicle oh. is at least able to move at this point. Uh, and, hey, I guess, have you guys heard about Mike Bettis and his crew? They did take a direct hit as well. They're okay, but they were tossed, and their cars are destroyed. Well, I would not be surprised. Um, at, the locally, at the location where we were, if that satellite vortex would have succeeded in flipping our car over, we would have probably been very close to very seriously injured maybe even killed by the larger tornado that was barreling down on us it was a very intense situation i know there were other chasers really close to us on the interstate in front of that tornado as well all right, we're just glad you guys are okay, Dr. Forbes. And just want to reiterate, there was a tornado emergency for Yukon, Richland, Wiley Post Airport, Bethany, the village. Uh, you need to be taking immediate tornado precautions there. Uh, other locations uh, include uh, Mustang, War Acres, uh, in the possible path of this uh, large and destructive tornado that uh, we can personally from chasers uh, tell you that there has been damage with this. The best thing probably that we have seen is that the size of the tornado based upon radar uh, seems to be shrinking just a little bit. Previously it had been more than a mile wide, uh, still plenty big enough, but not as big as it had been. And the size of the debris ball uh, is uh, shrinking yet uh, also. But that said, uh, it is getting uh, closer to the uh, Yukon area. It is moving very slowly at this point. My radar, I'm checking it, it is uh, current. Uh, and the tornado has made very little progress toward Yukon. It is almost stationary now. Uh, the, and uh, let me measure the location. Uh, that would put it about four miles west of Yukon and almost stationary. And Dr. Forbes, we, we just heard from the, the storm riders. We know that Mike Bettis and his crew, they did take a direct hit from the tornado. They are okay, uh, but they, uh, they, they do have some injuries. And the, the, the storm riders, Simon Brewer and Justin Drake, they were talking about getting hit by a satellite tornado. Yes. We talk about that. You have the main tornado, which they were looking at, and then something else hit them. Yeah, you have the main tornado, and then that tornado is embedded in such a, uh, a large rotating thunderstorm that you can have one tornado there, but then outside of that, uh, there can be a little tornado that revolves around embedded in, in that whole wall cloud, that whole rotating wall cloud. And there's separate funnels. You can see clear space in between them, but sometimes that happens. It, it, certainly we've seen it on a number of occasions. Sometimes those can be pretty strong tornadoes as well. And in this kind of a context, 
given uh, that earlier we had seen how strong the inflow was to this thunderstorm and this tornado. Certainly, even uh, tornadoes outside, satellite tornadoes, might have been rated EF2 or so on, and I suspect that we'll have a, a much higher rating for this parent main tornado. And we're also getting word now that uh, this storm, if it develops or redevelops, uh, it could be heading toward the state fairground. So that's something we also uh, need to be concerned about. So uh, if you know anybody in this area, give them a call. Tell them to uh, be safe, get underground, especially if they were planning to be outside today. If they didn't know about the threat for whatever reason, this is a very dangerous situation, which we are learning firsthand uh, from some of our colleagues that are out there in the field getting hit by this tornado. And there are still storm chasers out there. Uh, we're still keeping tabs with them to get an idea of just uh, how big this is and how dangerous of a situation this is, because we can look at the storms on radar. We can tell you what we think is happening just based on the colors on the map. Gives us a really good idea. Tells us a lot of clues about what's going on. But it's these storm chasers. They're out there and in some cases like today we know are risking their lives but they are doing it more than just for the thrill. They're doing it because if we can show you a tornado on the air, we can show you it kicking up dust, kicking up the trees uh, that people are more likely to take these warnings seriously. And so indeed, they're out there. Yeah, they're out there doing a big service. And indeed, in the Moore tornado back on the 20th, many of the people took shelter underground because they had seen on television uh, that the tornado in progress, nothing like uh, visual confirmation, albeit not right outside your window, but seeing that it's coming to know that this is not just any ordinary tornado warning. It's a tornado warning where there is a tornado in progress. Tornado emergency for these areas near El Reno, Yukon, Bethany. There are other tornado warnings out there. Cedar County in Missouri uh, with a tornado warning and then out in Nevada and uh, Washington counties in Oklahoma. Uh, Lenapa area. Dr. Forbes, real quick, we have a uh, storm chaser on the phone right now near Yukon, I believe, or in Yukon. Jason Doss, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Will you tell us where you are and what you're seeing right now, please? Yes, uh, I'm about uh, about a mile southeast of uh, Yukon. Uh, the large part of the tornado that's crossed 40 or about to cross 40. Um, sorry, trying to get a radar update right quick. Uh, what my concern is right now is I'm watching the secondary rotation that's uh, behind that uh, that that part of the tornado. Hey, uh, uh, Jason, so position, just, yeah. Jason, stay with us. We have Dr. Forbes here. Dr. Forbes, what are you seeing right now? Yeah, it has definitely done one of these cyclings. Five minutes ago, uh, we had the main circulation there. I was said it had gone stationary west of Yukon. Here is the latest circulation. A new rotation has developed south and east of Yukon, right near where this chaser is reporting. So a new hook is forming. Uh, that will take it uh, down closer in. It has made a little bit of a leapfrog. That will take it closer in to the Oklahoma City metro area. All right, so Jason, are you, are you feeling like you're in a safe spot right now, Dr. Forbes? I mean, um, and actually, I just pulled up uh, the velocity scan uh, that Dr. Forbes was talking about, and it looks like it's uh, straight in front of me. So I'm going to be dropping south just a little bit so I can make sure I'm in a safe position, and I'll still continue to stream. Okay, but you go right now. Do what you have to do. Get to a safe spot. We don't want you to get hurt. Absolutely. That's the number one goal. Yeah, all right. Go for it. We'll, we'll uh, check back with you later, okay? This, uh, yeah. this new circulation is located about uh, nine miles, nine to ten miles due west of Oklahoma City. Uh, in between, it's about, uh, location is about five miles southeast of Yukon, and its location is about uh, five miles northeast of Mustang. So it is uh, heading uh, into the, uh, at this point, I'm not sure that there's a tornado with it, but it definitely is a well-defined circulation uh, with that. Uh, and likely to produce another tornado certainly makes us very suspicious that it will produce another tornado uh, heading uh, right into the west side of the Oklahoma City metro area. It does not have an extremely well-defined hook echo at it on, at this point, uh, but it, it certainly has that signature. That's why we're so glad that we have Doppler radars that can uh, tell us things. We do not always get these perfect hook echoes. Can we get Max 5 up again real quick to give us an idea of exactly what's going on. Another one of our video sources to give, give us a bigger picture and show us uh, exactly where this is. Okay, so there's Oklahoma City there on the right and you're still seeing that circulation, right, Dr. Forbes? Uh, yes, uh, the circulation has in fact it intensified. Uh, now the, the symbol of a green a tornado no, no, they're is... on Max 5 now, Dr. Forbes. Max 5 there, okay. Uh, the, uh, the tornado is uh, pretty close just to the south and east of Yukon there heading uh, pretty much due east toward Oklahoma City, uh, a dangerous uh, situation.
So you were saying that you think it was it redeveloping or is it the same thing? No, what, this what is a new about? hook. Uh, what it's has a new happened, part of the same storm. It's a new part of the same storm. What happened? The rift flank downdraft came in and uh, choked off, stalled out the original tornado west of Yukon. A new hook is trying to form uh, down to the south and east of Yukon. And the tornado with that is right about on Highway 4. It will either move directly into the Oklahoma City area or perhaps close to the Moore area. Uh, can we zoom in on that just a little bit to uh, show? Uh, all right, we have, uh, all right, so there's the circulation right about I-40 and South Morgan Road area would appear and, to and be Dr. where Ford, the tornado part is. Part of I-40 is shut down right now by the Highway Patrol. We just got word for that. So that's a good news right there. I mean, they're out there, they're being proactive, doing what they can, but we still have a very dangerous situation. Oklahoma City is right there. It indeed is. We don't know exactly whether this will move directly east or whether it will send uh, head a little bit uh, east, southeast, but it looks as if it is going to move north of Mustang, but come into areas uh, near I-44 and probably around Southwest 44th Street or uh, I-44 and I-40, somewhere in that vicinity. It's coming pretty close to I-40 eastbound into the west side of Oklahoma City. So what are you going to be watching for now on this, Dr. Forbes? Well, I'm going to continue to monitor uh, the uh, how intense we get. I'll be uh, on the on this rotation signature, So whether it's just a wall cloud or whether it's a tornado, uh, whether we begin to see a debris signature showing up on that. And, and just for people who maybe aren't sure what we're looking at, just seeing a uh, good news would be seeing all red right now, correct? Uh, that's exactly right, uh, but uh, we're getting worried about another tornado. Is that what you're saying, Mark? Union City. Yeah. Another uh, spotters are seeing a tornado behind uh, the original. Okay, so back here. Yes, spotters are seeing another uh, circulation in the storm behind this one. Uh, west of Union right. City. In fact, Dr. Forbes, we have Mike Bettis back on the phone right now. And Mike, again, uh, for our viewers that are just joining us, you were, uh, you did take a direct hit from the tornado. You are okay. Your crew's okay. A bit banged up, but you're also still looking at this storm. Will you tell us what you're seeing right now? Uh, yeah, we're, we're actually trying to drive north now um, toward El Reno on, uh, on, inter on uh, Highway 81. Uh, tons of rain. Uh, right now, and I'm, I'm hoping that we're in an okay position. I, I, I don't know if you can tell me, Chris, is there something coming in behind this one? I think we're all right. Yeah, there is, Mike. Uh, Mike, there is another uh, circulation that's coming uh, eastbound toward you. Uh, it probably will go a little bit to the south of you, but uh, I'm seeing your location right at the moment. I'll take a measurement. Uh, there is a potential tornado about uh, six miles southwest of you. Reed Timmer is reporting okay, so rapid. Dr. Forbes, if we go, if we go north, Dr. Forbes, that uh, Interstate 40 and go east to Oklahoma City, we'll be okay? Uh, you will not be able to go east on uh, I-40 into Oklahoma City at this point. My understanding is that it is uh, shut down. Uh, my uh, recommendation would be that uh, you try to go north of El Reno uh, to get onto the north side of the, these storms because uh, there are continue to be uh, tor tornado or rotation circulations on the south side of the storm. So places you do not okay. want to be going to Union City, you do not want to be going to Mustang or into Oklahoma City at this point. Uh, go, you may have to do a little core right. punching, but go north, go to El Reno and north. Well, we're, we're, it's a slow drive for us. We'll try to go north here. Um, the vehicle that, that is uh, salvageable here, the windshield wipers aren't operable anymore. They've kind of been blown out. Of the uh, of the vehicle, so we're kind of driving here with just enough of a rain that's on the windshield and going about 20 miles an hour. But mm -hmm. um, that uh, that was a monster tornado. I, I can certainly attest to that. We're going to go north, guys, at I-40. Hey, hey, and, and go, and, Mike, go uh, as fast as you can because now the rotation. It's not a tornado signature, but the the rotation, the signature, the strongest cheer is uh, just about uh, three to three and a half miles west of you. So uh, it is close. And, and Mike, if we, uh, go, if we go due north. We'll be okay again. We're kind yeah, of go due by. north. We're gonna make sure that we're gonna go due north then. Okay. And Mike, while we're talking to you right now, we uh, are looking at video from the storm riders, and occasionally we're looking at the radar. Uh, for the viewers that are just joining us, will you uh, kind of tell us what you went through today? Uh, well, what we were doing is uh, we were we we're ahead of the storm. We you know we we uh, stopped the broadcast with you guys. Saw a big giant wedge tornado, very violent rain wrap tornado. What we're trying to do is just get away from it, uh, get the south side of it and, and, and stay away from it. We ended up all three of our vehicles that we chased with were all hit by it. The uh, two of them are okay and operable. The vehicle that I was in and two photographers, Austin and Brad, uh, we, we took a ride. About uh, The tornado threw us about 200 yards off the highway into a field. 
uh, vehicles smashed. Um, everyone had their seatbelt on and just ducked. Our airbags all deployed. Uh, we have a big 